everybody. Welcome to Sensory, virtual Sensory Story Time with Stephanie and Ophelia. Um, we are so glad that you're here with us. As you know, we're going through um, all the senses this summer and today's sense that we're going through is a big word. It's called proprioception um, or proprioceptive sense. sense. Um, basically, proprioception is just having body awareness. So it's just knowing where your arms are in relation to your legs or any body part is in relation to another body part. So when you're walking and your feet move separately and they don't bump into each other, that's having proprioception is knowing where those body parts are. Proprioceptive input uses information from nerves, muscles, and bones to inform the, about the position and movement of the body through muscle contractions, stretching, bending, straightening, pulling, and compressing. We're gonna try some of those out today, some of those fun stretching and compressing exercises today. But before we get started, let's welcome everybody and sing our welcome song. So I hope you remember it. We're gonna start off by clapping. Clap, clap everybody and, and say hello, clap, clap your hands and say hello, clap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Stop. Stomp everybody and say hello, stomp everybody and say hello, stomp everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Wiggle. Wiggle everybody and say hello, wiggle everybody and say hello, wiggle everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Take a seat and fold your hands. Take a seat and fold your hands. Take a seat and fold your hands. Get ready for a story. Okay, hope you're all ready. Miss Ophelia is going to read our first story. And we're actually going to have a really cool thing. She's also going to show us some of the cool things that are going on in this story. Our first story is called Yoga Bunny by Brian Russo. And I actually practice yoga almost every day. So sometimes when we're talking about the different movements and poses in the book, you'll see me doing them to the side. Oh, and look, in the pages before and after the story, they have a lot of other different um, poses as well. One morning, Bunny crawled out of his hole, rubbed his eyes, and let out a big, Yawn! This is the perfect morning to do yoga, he said. Bunny dropped his head and arms down toward his feet, coming into a forward fold. Just then, Lizard came walking by. Good morning, Lizard, said Bunny. Would you like to do yoga with me? I hate everything about mornings. I wish I could be back. go back to bed, Lizard replied angrily. And with that, Lizard stomped away. Bunny was disappointed, but he took a deep breath, placed his hands on the ground, stepped backward, and lifted his hips high up in the air, coming into downward dog. His friend Fox came hurrying by, zoom, zoom, zoom. He was moving so fast, he startled Bunny. Out of my way, Bunny, he said. I'm in a very big rush. Maybe you could take a minute and do some of this yoga poses with me, Bunny suggested. It might help you slow down. No, thanks, Fox replied. I'd, ra I'd rather be in a big rush than do something so silly. And he hurried away. Bunny felt a little bit sad, but he took a deep breath, stood tall, placed his hands in front of his heart, and balanced on one foot coming into tree pose. Just then, bird flew down, landing right on Bunny's head. <gasps> I have a bad case of the <gasps> hiccups, and I've tried everything to stop them, Bird said. Well, Bunny said, maybe you can do this tree pose with me. It can calm you down, and that might help with your <gasps> hiccups. No way, Bird said. I'd rather live with these hiccups than stand on one leg. And with that, bird flew away. Will anyone ever want to do yoga with me, Bunny wondered. But then 
he reminded himself that doing yoga alone is better than not doing yoga at all. Just as Bunny took a deep breath, took a, he took a deep breath, stepped back, bent his front leg, and reached his arms way up, coming into warrior pose. Two little mice came walking by. What do you think he's reaching for? whispered one of the mice. I don't know, but it must be very valuable. We'd better reach for it too. And so the mice stepped back, bent their front legs, and reached their arms way up, coming into warrior pose, just like Bunny. As they had their arms stretched way up and their eyes toward the sky, they noticed bird flying by. Bird still had the hiccups, but he came down to join them, pressing his wings together in front of his heart, lifting up one leg, coming into tree pose, just like Bunny and the mice. All of a sudden, they heard a loud noise, zoom, zoom, zoom. Fox came hurrying by and saw the friends standing in a circle, and he pressed his hands to the ground, stepped back, and lifted his hips, coming into downward dog. Just like Bunny, the mice, and the bird. Bunny took a deep breath and lay down flat on his back, coming into resting pose. When Lizard came walking by and lay down just like Bunny. Bunny was so happy his friends had joined him that he opened his mouth and let out a big oh, and everyone else did the same. I know where I'm supposed to be, said Fox, not so angry anymore. It's here. Thank you, Yoga Bunny. The end. They're doing Warrior Two pose right there. And like I said, some more fun poses there in the back of the book for you to try. The end. That's awesome. <sighs> That's a great way to get calm and calm your body. We're feeling pretty calm in our fort. We yes, love our fort. We, we love our fort. hope that you've built a fort for yourself at home that you can enjoy your story time in. Um, right now, we are going to do our butterfly song. Right. And there's not a lot of room in our fort, so we're going to be small butterflies. Um, you can be big butterflies if you want, however you like. Ready? Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly up so high. Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, oh, stretch like a butterfly up so high. Twist like a butterfly. That feels good too. Twist like a butterfly. Twist like a butterfly. Twist like a butter. Sleep like a butterfly. Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly through the night. Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly through the night. Roll like a butterfly, roll like a butterfly, roll like a butterfly. Roll like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. That is a great um, song for some proprioceptive movement because you have to fly so you know where your arms are. You have to stretch so you know where your other body parts are in relationship to each other. Um, 
So now it's time for show and tell, which we love to do um, this summer. So <clears throat> today, Miss Ophelia, what have you brought for us? I have brought a blanket. This is one of my favorite blankets. It's a Powerpuff Girl blanket. Ooh, I, I like the color of this down. blanket. Yes, it's nice and bright. And one of the things that you can do is you could use a regular blanket or you could use a weighted blanket. Weighted blankets are nice. They have different weights, so you can customize it to however you like to kind of help give you that little extra comfort, that little squeeze mm -hmm. that uh, makes you feel maybe a little more secure. But if you have just a regular blanket, I'm going to demonstrate on Stephanie here. Ooh. You can have someone you love wrap you up. Like a burrito. Never wrap up the face or the head. You yeah. never want to do that. You want to be able to have everybody yes. breathe like they always can, but they can wrap you up mm. nice and snug in a little blanket to give you a little bit of comfort and support. How does that feel, Miss Steph? This feels good. And let me say, I have a weighted blanket at home and I use it at night. It's really good um, to help keep your body parts kind of together at night that compression feels really nice it feels like um someone's giving you a hug all night so yeah. if you don't have a weighted blanket you can wrap up tight with any blanket um like um, a bug and a rug or a yeah. burrito um just have someone an adult wrap you up uh, especially before you go to bed you can sleep really well yes yeah. We're going to unwrap Miss Stephanie yes. here. <laughs> or even if you're just at home watching a movie, you want to wrap up really tight, mm -hmm. roll around in your burrito blanket. And if you have a hard time settling down when you sleep, the weighted blanket is a really good idea because yeah. it kind of helps you calm down. Yeah. Sometimes like when we go to sleep, our arms and legs get kind of restless and the weighted blanket helps with that because it's kind of heavy. So it's a little harder. Um, uh, for our, our legs and arms to move easily under it. I would recommend for young kids, maybe a five pound one. The one I have is 15 pounds and I'm a grown up, so that one is really heavy for me. Mm -hmm. So it'd be way too heavy for you. Um, we're gonna read our second book called Meow and the Pots and Pans. And we are reading this book because you will see um, on our take home activity sheet this week that one of the things that you can do for proprioceptive input is banging on pots and pans and you want to do that and it's kind of like drumming just knowing where your body parts are in relationship to each other okay this is meow hello meow today meow is in the kitchen meow's friends have come to play wolf moo Ba and Quack. Mm, I like those names. Meow looks in the cupboard. What's in the cupboard, Meow? What do you think? Moo, oh no. Moo is curious. Ba and Quack look inside too. There are lots of pots and pans. I bet you have those in your cabinets at home. Is Meow going to bake a cake? Mmm, cake. Ugh. No! Look! Meow picks out a green colander and a wooden spoon. <gasps> oh, what do you think he's going to do? Can you use your prediction skills? Let's see. Wolf wants an orange frying pan. And a yellow fork. Uh-oh. Moo finds three mixing bowls. Red, green, and purple. Wobble, wobble. Be careful, Moo. The cupboard is almost empty. Baha finds two orange lids. Uh-oh. What do you think he's going to do with them? Good job, Ba. Quack wears a measuring cup. Very funny, <laughs> Quack. But what are they going to do with all the cooking things? Clang, rattle, bam, boom, boom, cluck. What's all this noise? It's Meow's band. 
clever meow. The end. Yeah. So, yeah. That is something you can do if all that noise bothers you um, or kind of irritates your ears a little bit. You could also wear um, ear protection while you're doing them. It's just a good way to kind of know where your arms and legs are in relationship to each other. Or use a rubber spatula. Like yeah. quiet. Yes, rubber spatulas are nice and quiet. Um, and you could bang on things that don't create loud noises, like a rubber spatula with um, maybe a plastic mm -hmm. spoon, um, plastic bowl or something like that. So now we are going to do a movement activity. They do this every week in toddler time, but it's really good uh, for proprioception because we're going to make spiders. We're going to do itsy bitsy spider. And then we're also gonna do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So. You guys ready? that you did that with this. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some movement activity. And we're in our fort, so we don't have a lot of room, but we're gonna do the best we can. Um, if you're at home and you wanna do this with us, you might wanna get out of your fort and do them. I mean, you could also stay in your fort, it's fine. Um, so we're gonna have Miss Whitney, who's our camera lady, set a two minute timer for us. So if you have a timer at home, Go ahead and set a two minute timer. We're gonna to try to put one on the screen somewhere um, so you can see how long we have to do these. We're just gonna do some easy stretches. So ready and go. Okay. What's Let's first? Out like this. Ooh. Oh, that feels good. Yes, it feels really good. And if you kind of lean forward as you do it, you can feel it kind of in your back. You sure can. Ooh, that feels really good. And see if you can go, if you don't have a fork above you, you can even move your hands up. Oh, that's good. oh you can feel that in your back too, right yes. below your shoulder blades. Oh, that feels good. That does feel really good. What if we do a little stretch twist? You put your hand on your knee like this and stretch your middle. Oh, my, I heard a little popping there. <laughs> These are really fun to do in the morning. Oh, yeah. Let's before the you side. get out of bed, too, if you want to do some stretches. That feels good. Don't forget, if you do it on one side, you need to do it on the other side, too. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be uneven. I, I bet. Want to do next. Yes, so let's do some leg stretches. So, stretch our legs in front of us and reach, grab our toes, and hold it for 15 seconds. Let's count. Ready? One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes. And um, when you do stretches, it's really good to hold them for like ten to fifteen seconds. Um, that kind of helps. So if you just stretch like this and then move right out of it, you don't get as much into it as you might. 
um, some other a really fun leg stretch. I don't know mm -hmm. if we have room to do this. It's called butterfly. And you put your feet together and you kind of flap your legs like they're butterflies. And this is a really fun one to do um, if you need some leg stretches. So. All right, two minutes up. up. There is our timer. <laughs> um, if you have more time at home, which you probably do, set a timer for five minutes and do some stretches. Um, if you hold each one for 10 to 15 seconds, you really may only get five or six stretches in uh, before your timer goes off if yep. you do two minutes. It so goes very fast. It does. <laughs> so uh, me and Ophelia want to remind you that every week we um, put in our comment section of this video a PDF that shows some activities um, that you can do for proprioception, for proprioception or uh, whatever the sense that we're doing that week is. You can do these things at home. Um, we did some of them here um, and there are some reminders of things we talked about like banging on pots and pans, doing stretches. There are some other um, activities here and there's also sources listed at the bottom so if you want to look at more into that um, you can look at those sources. So are there any other announcements? Don't forget about the Summer Learning Club. You just got to read 20 minutes a day at least for 20 days. And then starting on Monday, June 22nd, you can submit your log electronically so that you can get a free paperback book and a chance to win one of our grand prizes. Woo, that sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, we also want to thank you for joining us today for this virtual Sensory Story Time. And we will see you again next Monday at 10 a.m. And I hope that you guys have a great week. Bye. Should we do our goodbye song? Oh, obviously. We should do our goodbye song. I was trying to skip it. She's okay. getting ahead of me. I was. <laughs> We're going to do our see you later alligator. Yes. Ready? Ready. It goes to the tune of... Um, oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Tell me that's right. Put your hands up. See, see you later, later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish, see you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye. There we go, now it's the end. We'll see you guys next week.